ようこそ。絶望してくれるなよ心配いらねえよ俺が守ってやる五帝十三体の誇りにかけて守り抜くと誓ったのだブリーチブライブソウルズオリーオリーオリーオリーオリー Welcome here, Minasan. Hello, hello. Yokoso, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Burichi Brave Souls lovers. And hello, they are the Smasher Sama. Welcome, darling. Hello. This is your buddy, Death Smasher. Happy to be here. Thank you to come. We are here to continue with the interview collection of the Burichi Brave Souls Legend Saga. With the Earth Smasher Sun. Yes, 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 yes. I want to express that feel super excited and emoted with this interview, my boy. It's very, very big honor and pleasure to interview you, the Earth Sun. Your Bleach Brave Souls are so helpful, man, and you always help the community streaming and farming and farming. Arigato! Arigato for your powers and your support to the Bleach Brave Souls community and to help the history of this game. Arigato to put your power on the Bleach Brave Souls history. Infinite thanks to inspire the Bleach Brave Souls content creators and players. Here we have today Death Smasher, one of the biggest Bleach Brave Souls players and also one of the powerful. s Thank you to come here and be today the 12th legend! Alright, so basically, as the name goes, it's the Death Smasher. Basically, I've been,、uh, well, Playing BBS for like a long time, and I just started doing、um, YouTube content ever since after third anniversary. So, ever since then, been keeping up with、uh, summons videos, comparison videos, and whatnot. It's surprising how I went from being a very small YouTube channel to just basically having 4.6k, well, actually 4.5k, excuse me. Yeah, um, uh, road to 5k, hopefully. Sometime soon. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Thank you to come today, man. I really enjoyed your content, your energy, and also you helped to match the community farming and farming. Arigato! And arigato! Anything for the community, anything for the fans and the friends. That's all I gotta say. Arigato! Oh my no, many of me are tired, girl. Oh no, you're not tired, Kiyomuga. I don't even know if I said that right. Kono chi kara wa. Sparish, you surprise me. Nice. We have here the Death Smasher profile to check this power on Yakuza. Lovely, lovely Ulkiora.、Nice. That's where I'm in. Where I'm in in terms of the, the actual guild. I'm in Yakuza. Nice. A very, very nice character completion, man. Yeah, the, yeah. The reason why it says a thousand five hundred and forty-three is because、uh, I made a mistake where、uh, I thought that when I started the game, once you max out any type of four star, that counts as if it's maxed out. But instead, no. If you get like per se a different attribute of a different of a same four star character, you can still get the orbs, and that's where I kind of screwed up. So unfortunately, it's gonna stay that way until that one particular four star red suit comes back through a sub story. So that's why. Same here, man. Same here with one Rangiku. Exactly. Oh, okay. At least, at least we both share the same pain. Yeah, we are. We are on the same on the same sheet. Character thing on an odd one out. My God, it's so annoying. <laughs> Literally. Yes, yes. It's just patience and patience and wait and pray on every super story. Yeah, literally. Okay. And I've been trying to get my true Bankai Ichigo replaced by、um, Daddy Ichigo, so I'm still working on that.、Mm. And I have not done Spirit Star Forever with you Part One yet. I'm just reserving the orbs,、nice. literally. An amazing amount of quest. Wow. Yes. And also very nice amount of brief battles. Yes, yes. You are an old player. Amazing. Yeah,、nice. I've been playing for like a very long time now. Been playing since six, since second anniversary. Wow. Nice, amazing position on Gil Quest. You are on the hundred. You do it the today Gil Quest. 
I already did a spot away. Fortunately, I'm actually able to beat it thanks to giving um, uh, uh, Thousand Rebel Rukia weak in defense, and she's only one out of five. The, re the only reason why I'm beat it is because I have a max strength center true Shika Ichigo, literally. Nice. Amazing position. Yes, yes. Guild quest since the first day, right? Uh, yeah, but back then I was a bit more of a casual at Guild Quest. I didn't know what it was doing, so yeah. No. Oh, what up, Danny? What up, Polo? Welcome Hello. to the uh, stream. Hello, everyone. Uri! Enjoy this madness. Same came on. Nice. You cleared it all. Not, yeah. Not a speed yep. but Although, with uh, ordeals, I had a rough time because I was struggling to get that power rise, and it took me until, uh, fourth anniversary to get him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the power we were eyes and I remember the, the F20. Yo, yo, fuck that floor. Lisa, <laughs> Senkaizen, Shinji... Uh, oh, if I'm cussing too much and if it's a problem, please do say so, because I can actually limit myself with the bad words. Okay, about Epic Raids, also a nice amount. Yeah, even though right now Epic Raids have been kind of boring and I just don't like this Awakened uh, Noitora Epic Raid. Yeah, this... oh, and the Familiar comp Completion, don't mind it being at 14. I just, I just haven't maxed out the Noitora Familiar and haven't evolved it, so that's why. Yeah, yeah, this one is annoying. It's a hard one, this Awakened. But you have all Familiars by now, it's nice. Yeah. A nice Chronicle Quest 20,000! Oh, yes, yes Transcendence oh. Lover here! Yes, sir. Subarashi. We the Yakuza gang, Polo. We the Yakuza gang. Subarashi. Login days, man. Amazing! Let's go. Subarashi. Yeah, I'm about to hit my fourth year by the time um, the end of uh, July comes. Nice. Four years, wow. Amazing, amazing account. Thanks to come here, Death Smasher, and share your power with us. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Because oh, now it's time to the questions. Bleach Brave Souls interview have 12 questions about right. information, curiosities about death sign. Alright, I'm ready. Because oh, let's right, go. Okay. We have here 12 questions to learn. Few more information, details and curiosities about death sign. Because oh, the first one is few easy peasy. What is your favorite unit? On Bleach Brave Souls? My favorite unit? Yeah. As an overall? Uh, I have to give it to Anniversary Ukiora just because of the simple fact that he's got a good kit. I absolutely love his design and he is my favorite Espada in terms of basically, you know, all of Bleach and is by far my top favorite character. So nothing is going to beat that, even though right now I'm not using him as much because, well, Fifth anniversary Ichigo being Max Transcended, and of course a lot of other units that just happen to be better than him. Yes, I'm an Okyo uh, fanboy, but I'm not like most of the uh, BBS community that just fanboy over one unit and say, "Oh my God, it's the best unit in the game." I'm not like that. I just try to be very realistic for when it comes to units, but I will state my favorites. So, yeah. But nice because this unit with the Resurrection could be our song. The second anniversary oh. Ichigo Resurrection was crazy, man. Havoc and strong attack recharge is all I'm asking for. Nothing yeah. else. Please. Please. Yes. The no affiliation killer, I can live with it because mine's Max Transcended. I can say fuck you to killer for when it comes to Inherent <laughs> Zone. Nice. Like I, I completely can... love no. with this unit. I'm happy that you like it. Swarashi! Yes. <laughs> uh, enough with the Goku Black showing though, because I see you're trying to say Subarashi a lot now. <laughs> Negan. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Yes, I, I like it. Subarashi Tormenta de Murcielago. All right. I also was so very surprised when the Ultiora trailer comes and all, the Tormenta de Murcielago on Spanish, the words, the trailer was fucking amazing, man. All Bro, the, the awesome- Caleb even took it down, I don't know why. It's It was stupid because it was a great trailer. Was For real. amazing. I just, I just wish to remember the golden memories on the third anniversary when all the Ultiora comes and after the kiss can you watch was amazing year, man. Third anniversary, I was screaming so hard when I saw that Ultiora, literally. I was screaming so freaking hard. I think I probably have like, on my old uh, Twitch account, a stream highlight of that. 
I think, I don't know. Was one of the my best moments summoning. I remember. Wow. Was very hard. I uh, a lighter. I used a lighter and smash the lighter and the lighter explodes oh. when I get the. Oh. <laughs> that happened to you? Yes, yes. I, uh, for this, I remember as one of the best summons because I summoned too much, too much, too much, too much. I remember it's a premium unit. I don't need to summon more, but I wish it's so cool. It's so. Remember when Dulcura comes, was the fucking beast. Charged, barrier, boost. And when I get it's it with my friend. The funny thing is, I was one of the few lucky fuckers that got him on step one. Wow! Step one. I did. I did. I did. Anniversary OKR on step one. Wow. Seriously amazing. I summoned it too, too much, too much. And finally, <laughs> when I get it with my friend Batosai, uh, I remember exactly a lighter. I smashed the lighter with the ground and boom, explodes. I remember yeah. as epic moment. Unfortunately, my luck, I cannot say the same thing with Mugetsu because that guy took away way too many of my orbs. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the reason why I had a hard time trying to get him. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard. I have it, but luck on anniversaries. Hope that both and Bleach Bracers lovers have good luck on this anniversary. Pray! Yeah. Also, let me just say this, boys. Don't summon on the trash that is Spirits Are Forever with you. I'm sorry, but the characters are not good. Save up your orbs for anniversary and don't get baited by any of the trap banners. They're not worth it. Probably on the half of month, uh, premium or uh, some seasonal as machine. And end Could of be month. Movie now that I think about it, but I don't know. And on end of month, the ladies. I mean, probably you can skip the two next banners and go till anniversary. Okay, let's go. Continue with this. Ukiora love is too much big. <laughs> now go to the second question. That is, when you start playing Bleach Brave Souls, and the most interesting part, why? All right. Well, this is quite the simple answer. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. When the game first came out, I decided to give it a shot and whatnot. I was enjoying it for a bit, and then I kind of like dropped it like any other mobile game because at that time I was not invested into uh, mobile games and I was more of a console fanatic back then. And I think back then I was like, what? Maybe 16 or 17? Yo, what were you? Yeah, I think I was around. Uh, wait, no, not even. I probably was like 19 back then. But then. Um, when I was uh, following some uh, anime YouTubers, apparently uh, the Thousand Year Blower arc was heading on to Bleach Brave Souls and the characters were coming. I was like, okay, you know what? Thousand Year Blower, great way. And I thought, I may as well start playing the game again. And, and then at one point, I just gotten so invested with the game. I was enjoying it. Second anniversary. Like, that was such a good time to play. I, I remember I started off with Power Halibel. And whatnot. Now she wasn't doing too great because she wasn't the best character, but like I was enjoying it back back then. Like I really was. There was a lot of stuff for me to do. So yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Golden memory, second anniversary. The Ichigo was ultra overpowered. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not manage to get into the game in time for second anniversary Ichigo. Nor did I manage to get the likes of Tensa. Uh, Armored Yoruichi or White Ichigo on day one, but I still managed to start off decently well. Back then, the characters I started off with were okay, but now, obviously, they're pretty much outdated, <laughs> which is very unfortunate. I mean, but yeah. the reason could be the Thousand Year Blood War content. Literally, that's the reason. Subarashi. Sa, Tatakaoka, you have a and will be proud of this! Just sucks that both of them are trash and videos. For real, it, it it hurts my heart. Okay. Let's go. Ne go to the next question. All right, let's go. What is the best Bleach Brave Souls mode for you? The the mode in you invest more resources, more time. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm a bit lost. The best Bleach Brave Souls. Part Model? or mode that, that you spend more resources, epic rides, guild quests, Senkemon. Oh, the best mode. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sorry. I, um, uh, the best mode for me, the ones I pretty much enjoy the most right now have to pretty much be a uh, uh, PVE for when it comes to uh, doing co-op because 
I love uh, using uh, my own PvE units. I love to basically smash all the hollow Soul Reapers or Ronkers and no affiliation enemies to death. And I also enjoy Guild Quest for what it was. That being said, the new GQ, uh, I'd still enjoy it, but like, I don't think it's still as good as the old one where you needed to have skill and just speed run through the entirety, the entirety of it. Because back then, you did not need the likes of 5 out of 5 units. You did not need the likes of a, a crap ton of transcendence. All you really needed were units with long stride, vortex units, and then, you know, just plan your stuff out and try to aim to be the best in your own guild and comp and compete. Like, that was fun back then, even though at one point I was kind of getting tired of always using TLA Soyphone because I'm not a Soyphone fan. But, yeah. That's just my own uh, overall opinion. PvP, I did enjoy it at one point, especially with uh, Red Su, but then it's like, it's the same stuff, really. It just gets really repetitive. It's just bots versus bots. I can't wait for the arena mode. At least that is going to be a lot more fun than PvP. Yeah. Ultra hype. Nice, nice. Thanks. Thanks to share with us your knowledge, no man, and love. Okay. Let's go to the fourth one, but now we leave Bleach Brave Souls and we are on the all Bleach Wall uh, movies, anime, manga, novelization, all. Oh, okay. What is your favorite waifu? Halibel. Halibel. Yeah. I've got nothing else to say. Halibel. Halibel, Bro, she, she, Bro, she's my waifu. You know what? I'd actually go go ahead and call my mom because I love her way too goddamn much. Literally, I just love the personality, the overall design she has, and whatnot. She's just a really nice character and whatnot. And I'm glad that you know. The funny thing is that before uh, starting uh, to play Bleach Brave Souls, I didn't really care too much about Halibel. But the, when I started playing the game with the power Halle Bell, I just grown really fond of the actual character and whatnot. The crazy thing about Bleach Brave Souls is that, sure, they can make o uh, characters OP, but the more you actually play as them, the more you actually get to like the actual uh, characters overall, and Bleach Brave Souls made me into a Halle Bell fan. Literally. And nice. I'm glad that they did not disappoint with the Beyond Resurrection can't fear on world Halle Bell. Like, literally. Sexy, powerful, etc. Bro. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, I am happy that you shared with us because I am a, a Soyphon fan for the Bleach Brave Souls. I not ah. li not like a Soyphon on pass, but the goddess, the technique, tele a Soyphon on this game is fucking crazy, man. I am a speedrun love, and I'm completely in love. Uh, is I mean, uh. as you told, this game really uh, bring your Bleach tastes. Depending on the game and gameplay is very interesting. Yeah, for real, for real. I do agree about that. Uh, okay, if you like Soulfun, I've got nothing wrong with that. I've got nothing wrong of uh, who whoever Sims for. Too late, Soulfun. I was enjoying her. Don't get me wrong, but like nowadays, hmm, because you can give an anyone long stride, it's like I just don't enjoy her kit too much. The double lunges are nice, but. I just don't enjoy her as much anymore, if I'm being 100% honest. I'd rather play as Kusaka, Halle Bell Flies, and, and uh, nice. well, even my type Rukia. Nice, nice. Okay, let's continue on the same line. The question number five. What is your favorite human on the bleach wall? Uh, can we, uh, because Uryu is a Quincy, can we count him as a human? I think that yes. At least on game, yes. Uh, say other, say another human, but yeah, I think that would you because I don't exactly have a, a 100% favorite human, but like I do have various, uh, uh, you know, um, characters between full bringers, or soul reapers, captains, and whatnot. So, overall, favorite human. You know, hold on. Let me just go ahead and disregard all the other types of titles and just, you know, focus on the topic of humans. If I were to pick one, I'd have to pick either between Tsukishima or Uryu. Nice. Either one of them. But, like, I can't really give out a definitive answer. Nice. Yari, yari. I, I have to give it to uh, Tsukishima because, fuck, man, uh, K-Lab just shafts Uryu way too much. It just pisses me off, literally. We have a lot of Uryus by now. It's crazy. Yet the best one is a premium character. What? 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 
Hello? Okay. I'm sorry. Like, at this point, I may, I want to go up to Caleb and say, yo, how do we have so many Uryus and all of them aren't even gods here? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh my god, yo. Very nice. Let's go. The next question on the same line is your favorite queen, Sh Shirifto. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'd have to give it to Jugram. Ooh. Literally. Jugram. Nice. Even okay. though I was very disappointed with how they made him a PvP unit and whatnot, but like, I just love the character. Even though I'm not, I'm not enjoying him as much because I'm enjoying Lie Bato a lot more in terms of, you know, overall playing as a Quincy, but like, Jugram personality-wise, character-wise, sure, he may look like a Prince Charming kind of character, but honestly, the way of how he, he is handled in the manga, I like him, so, yeah. Nice, nice. I am surprised, very nice. I am the B, the balance. On the... Rotation of be? On the game. Nice, Wait, nice. On. Happy to see you. Jugram yeah, love yeah. here. I use the Zabalans, uh quote a lot as a meme for when it comes to fake outs, literally. Like, you see a freaking four star shower? <laughs> Zabarans. <laughs> that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Question number seven on the same line. Easy peasy. Favorite arrancar. Uh, arrancars not including espadas, right? Yeah, yeah, including espadas. I mean, I already gave out my favorite espada, so like, yeah, I'll we'll... just say my favorite arrancar. Uh, I'd have to give it to Nelio. I like the character. And Ukiura? Ukiyo is my favorite Espada. Ah, okay, you mean a Neliel for a Ranker, okay, okay. Specifically a Ranker only, I okay, may as well. Okay, okay, Neliel Sama. Yeah. Okay, okay, and Ukiyora for Espada, and second after Ukiyora? Uh, second after Ukiyora, wait, we still on the topic about Espadas or Ranker? Yeah, Espada, Espada. Haribel. Nice. Nice, nice. Haribel and Ukiyora lover. To be happy. Yes. Okay, we reached the question number eight. Oh, is on right, the same line. Right. Your favorite Soul Reaper, Shinigami. This. Okay, my favorite Soul Reaper. Yeah. I have to give it to Ichigo Kurosaki, even though uh, his whole mindset about just protecting others is bland. It's just the character is very likable, regardless. Even though he doesn't seem to have a clear aim, like Naruto wanting to become Hokage or uh, Luffy aiming to become a uh, king of the pirates and yeah. whatnot. He is a very nice, likable guy, comical, and has his own uh, backstory of where uh, Masaki got killed by a hollow and he just doesn't want to experience anyone else having the same uh, type of experience ever again. Like that's just a very strong point of the character that just makes him determined to become a soul reaper and just want to protect his allies. Heck, even when he Rushed into the Soul Society to rescue Rukia. That that is still a golden moment in the actual anime, and you cannot deny that. Ichigo has a lot of great moments. So like, yes, yeah, that's my favorite Soul Reaper. It's amazing the the saga of the Rukia rescue. The eyes, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, <sighs> completely in love. Okay, Ichigo-san. The next one on the same line, more or less, is the question nine. Your favorite. Zambakto. Oh, uh, believe it or not, my favorite Zambakto is Muramasa. Nani? Yeah, Muramasa. You know, Koga, Koga's uh, Zambakto. Just yeah, because yeah, I of know, the fact that. Please explain yourself. Yeah, Muramasa, the reason why is because, well, for starters, let me just say that the first ever. Uh, actually, wait, would I say my first ever? Whatever. Let's just say the first ever proper Bleach game I played. In terms of uh, console based, where Bleach Heat the Soul 7. And I actually liked Muramasa, but then when I kind of del delved into his character and whatnot, I just like how, for starters, his design is actually very interesting. It's wicked and whatnot. And um, I also like his backstory. That's all I gotta say. Nice. Plus, I like his powers and whatnot. Like, it's just so cool. Nice, nice, nice. Very interesting. Kayla, please, Muramasa remake. I'm so tired of waiting. Oh my god, literally. <laughs> literally, I'm so freaking tired. 
You're telling me we can get so many freaking toshers. We can get so many. Come here, shut the fuck up. <laughs> thanks, thanks, man, to share with us your, your yeah, passion, your, you, you, your you thoughts. Cool. I also need to vent out a bit. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> All right. Okay, pray everyone from here for death is my son. Pray for a Muramasa, a Muramasa um, remake. Yes, a remake, and please, no goddamn range, because you don't want to see that goddamn bullcrap. Alright, uh, okay, next question. Next question, number 10. We have three more questions. The number 10 is easy peasy. Your favorite right. character on all Bleach wall? I mean, hold on, didn't I already answer that? No, you, you answered the favorite Bleach Brave Souls unit. Uh, Okiora. Yeah, for sure. And after Okiora, if we go to a second one... Alibel, then yeah. third is Ichigo. Nice, 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 nice! Okay, the question 11 is very interesting. It's one of the funniest. What is your most hated Bleach character? Oh, my most hated Bleach character. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be real with you. In terms of the actual anime, there isn't a, there isn't a precise character I actually hate. Because I think I managed to pretty much, you know like the characters and whatnot for what they were but you know what if i were to give a character i specifically hate i'd probably want to give it to kyan kyan just pisses me off so much when i pull his asshole in the actual game like you have no idea i experience ptsd when it comes to pulling that freaking character and tensa zengetsu is getting up there the mind one he really is getting up there but i like the white zengetsu as an overall so it's a it's a bit of an exception but like kyan i just i just fucking hate it every time i see um what was his what 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 was his quote i will I will give my life up for, for you or something. I'm I'm on your side. I don't even fucking remember, bro. I just I just don't like Kyan as an overall kind of character. And I'm gonna be real here as a character that you know was supposed to pretty much give an actual important point for Rukia. How he just died like that. It was just it was just meaning meaningless. Like I just don't know what to say about the character. Nice, nice. Thanks for your explanation. I completely understand your point, man. I feel the same with a lot of units on Bleach. You get it and shaft it again and again and again and again. And it's... Wow, man. I hate Kyan. Yeah. yeah. To, yeah. For, for the Power summons. Kain. Power Kyan isn't even usable. Like, yeah. he plays exactly like Aura without Havoc. That's all. That's the best definition to put it. Good fucking God. Thanks, man. You're so funny. I'm, I'm glad I'm entertaining you. I'm glad I really am entertaining you. Yes, yes. You. At the end of the day, interviews and streams need to be entertaining for a lot of people. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for your passion and energy, my boy. Arigato. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next uh, question. Well, I'm, which I'm, I'm very, is very, very, last very, one? I'm very sad. I'm very sad, though. Because oh, we, we reached the last one, man. The, the question number 12. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go. We are arriving at the end, but I am also happy because this question is the most interesting for me. It's the ones that I most like and enjoy. All right. It's a big question. Have three parts. All right. What is your favorite history, manga, and anime? This was the three parts, and I will explain. History could be any novel, film, video game story, uh, anime, manga, etc. All histories, all stories, book, etc. Manga need to be a, a manga, an anime, uh, some anime. Could be the same and could be different. I mean... Okay, so basically... Uh, hold on. I need to give out my favorite overall anime that I've watched. Yeah. By, by history, what do you mean? I'm a bit lost on that one. Hold on. It's just the story that you most like. Do you maybe check one anime, one film, and read one book? Oh, okay. In terms of overall plot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Exactly. And also the manga. Okay. All right. Ikuzo! All right. Okay. If you want my overall favorite anime, 
I have to, uh, this is a bit of a hard one, but, like, it has a lot to do with it, so, uh, history, in terms of overall plot, I have to give it to Death Note. Death Note, in terms of an overall type of series, the way of how it makes a main protagonist an antagonist and makes it evil, I like the idea of that because Light Yagami as an actual character in Death Note. The way of how the story goes, it just basically starts off with him uh, getting the Death Note and says, okay, you know what? I want I want to change this world and cl and just clean out every single last piece of evil that is in this piece of shit planet. And he just goes about doing just that. But he just overdoes it and then uh, starts killing even innocent people and uh, will even kill people that just stand in his way and that my guy is just so amazing of how you can just write a good story like that mm -hmm. i honestly like it that is character development at its finest and then uh overall favorite anime i have to give it to dragon ball Ooh. dragon ball z is just so good like <laughs> Go, cool, like that's the best way to go about it like if i were to say like favorite but yeah it's basically just so iconic in the actual animes. Like, it has a lot of good fighting moments, a lot of good power-ups, like, so many good moments. That's all I gotta say. And, uh, favorite manga? You yeah. asked me? Okay, favorite manga. Uh, this is a bit of a difficult one, because, uh, I only ever read mangas. If, uh, per se, uh, the original content, uh, never uh completely wrapped up uh and had a complete ending let's say uh animes like zatch bell for example or like um bleach on oh, and i'm trying to th yeah bleach obviously for sure the falcon lead as one. well yeah definitely and then i'm trying to remember uh what else but you, you get the point and then sometimes i would read the manga if per se an anime is still ongoing but um at the same time, I was also following the manga at the time to pretty much catch up with the content. For example, Naruto. When Naruto Shippuden was still airing, uh, I just wanted to read the manga and catch up with the actual content and see what was going on with the war arc and whatnot. So, to pretty much give out my precise uh, favorite manga, I'd probably have to give it to... Hold on. I'm trying to think real quick. Uh, I can't. I can't say Death Note because it's basically the same thing. So, but like, you can go for the same. If you if you feel. I know, but I'm not gonna go for that. Uh, okay. Uh, fuck it. I'll have to go with Elf and Lead. I'm not gonna lie. I'm more of an anime watcher than an, an than a manga reader. But like, that's just me. No. Or Naruto, I guess, because Naruto just you know has way better uh, artwork for when it comes to the fight scenes and whatnot. But like, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I'm happy that you like too much anime, this anime wall and manga. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, oh, you said favorite video game as well? No, just the favorite story because the favorite story oh, okay. can include the video game stories. Oh, the video game stories. Okay. All right. Okay. Fair. But nice, right, nice, yeah, amazing. I picked up my, st my stuff, so yeah. Was amazing. Your answers was very funny and also with details. I enjoyed too much this interview, my boy. Thank you. Uh, no worries, no worries. I had to go into detail with a lot of stuff because this is an interview, so I may as well give out my honest opinions. <coughs> You're welcome. Sorry, I needed to cough a bit. Now it's time to get <coughs> the end, the epic final, the JoJo reference. Yes. JoJo. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you! Yeah, the Smasher Sun was an amazing, funny experience! Arigato! You're welcome. <laughs> thanks, for being, thanks for letting me in here. Definitely a damn pleasure. Let's go. <laughs> Hope that everyone enjoyed this madness and remember to smash the like and share the Death Master channel and go and love. Please, if you wish, smash the like and share your passion. Thank you Do to it. come. Do it. The, the like button is right below. It is right here. Smash it to pieces. Like I smashed my chair in uh, my hype moments in my actual summons. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to to take the spotlight, but like I just I just had to. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs>
<laughs> Soup water shit. Uri! Wait, no, this is not how you do re. It's Uri! Uri! How do you get all the other sun? Bye bye, Minna. Hope you enjoy it. See you. Bye bye, lads. Thanks for coming by. Jana.